Hey everybody, welcome to Seattle. It just, welcome to another gloomy, rainy, cold, disgusting day here in Pennsylvania. Do you wonder why the uh, why a majority a majority of Pennsylvania Pennsylvanians are uh, are depressed for six months out of the year? This uh, this right here is, is why. It's just uh, another awful day here in in paradise. Anyway, so uh, um, yes. Hey everybody, today is, is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. And what's on the agenda for today? Well, I have packages that I have to take to the post office, so we're gonna do that. So I'm thinking today is gonna be a bit of shopping, a bit of thrifting, and I think a bit of unboxing as well, because I do believe there is a package waiting for me at the post office. I hope anyway, if it has arrived on time, I should have a package waiting for me at the post office. But before we do that, we're gonna hit up Big Lots once again because the last couple of times I've been inside here, I have found some pretty good deals. I wanna see if maybe they've done any restocking, maybe they got in some new movies. Even if they haven't received any new movies, there were some titles I left here last time I was in the store that I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to pick up or not. I don't remember what those titles were. I remember one of them being a title that you guys said I should have grabbed. So if I see that, I'll pick it up and maybe I'll grab some of the other titles as well. I have no idea. We're gonna go in. We're, we're, dri we're driving past. We're going to go in. We're going to see what they have, and maybe I'll, I'll grab some movies. I'm enjoying the Extreme Bargains sign. That, that looks very movie-esque right there. I'm going to take that as a sign. <laughs> I'm going to take the sign as a, as a sign, some power of positivity. I am pretty happy that Big Lots is a national chain, I believe anyway, a national chain, and uh, we, do have, we do have Big Lots down in, in Florida. I've been in a couple down there already. I like, I like Big Lots. It's a cool store. I need to come into Big Lots more often and, uh, and do some shopping. All right. I, I think I may, I may be already seeing things I did not remember seeing before, like life down there, the, the Blu-ray of life. Did I see this? The double feature of, um, for uh, Fort Yuma gold and, uh, damned hot, da damned hot day of fire. I don't think I've I don't remember seeing that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Here's season five of, of The Flash. All right, so either there are some new things here or I just don't remember what I saw last time. I'm getting old, so there's a, there's a good chance it's probably just I don't remember what I saw last time. I'm actually kind of thinking I might want to pick up the Fort Yuma Gold and uh, Damned Hot Day of Fire. I've never seen these. It's a, a Mill Creek release, but I guess a Mill Creek release they they never sent me. I don't I don't have this in my collection. I'm intrigued. I, I do love a good a good western and I'm thinking what well five ninety nine, so three bucks a piece. That's that's not bad for, for two westerns on Blu-ray. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna just start a pile. I'll go through it later, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I might wanna buy I might wanna buy that. I did check my list and I do already have things like season five of The Flash on Blu-ray, so I don't need that. I also have Life as well in a different um, set. My my artwork does not look like that, so I guess they've re-released this over the years, but I do have um, I do have both both the UK release on Blu-ray and the the US release on Blu-ray of Life. I believe it's the, the same exact show, just um, different narrations. So I, I do have both of those. So I don't need them. Again, I believe a Mill Creek, Mill Creek, ooh, did I just like whistle there? A Mill Creek release of Dad and I'm Not Rappinport. I've, I've never seen either of these. I, I think I might, I think I might own those. I, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna, just gonna pass on that. I'm, try, I'm trying to still be kind of selective. I mean, I do, I do want to buy some things. I'm here, I want to grab some stuff, but I also don't want to pick up things just for the sake of buying them. I want to make sure it's something I know I'm actually legitimately going to watch. This is pretty awesome. It's the double feature of Hostel and Hostel Part 2 on Blu-ray. Well, Blu-ray and DVD put out by Mill Creek. This is really cool, but I do believe in my collection, I have the original Lionsgate releases because unfortunately this set is bare bones. No special features whatsoever, as opposed to the original Lionsgate releases that do have a whole bunch of special features. So this would be a really cool Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I mean, it, okay, it is still a really cool Blu-ray DVD combo pack of the 
the unrated director's cuts of both films. If you don't have these movies for for six bucks, this is absolutely worth picking up because I do believe the Lionsgate releases I think are out of print. So it's it's totally worth buying this if you if you don't have these movies in your collection already. But if you can find the Lionsgate releases, I, I would recommend picking those up. But still, for six bucks, yeah, buy, buy that. Okay, I'm definitely seeing things I did not see last time I was in this store because I don't remember seeing this. My Little Pony, es Esquiteria Girls, the uh, the full length movie premiere. I I don't have this. I have, I believe there were other um, es Esquiteria. Am I saying that right? Girls movie releases. I I have those. I think one of them was called like Rainbow Rocks or or something like that. But I don't have this one. I did I did check my my lists and um. I don't have that. And yeah, I will fully admit, I I like me some uh, some My Little Pony. I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a brony, but I do enjoy My Little Pony. I've never seen Forted 2, the complete second season. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's awesome, but, but I don't have season one. It's yet another, it's another show I'd have to get into and, and watch and I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm seeing really cool things here. It's just mostly stuff I, I either already have or just things I'm, I'm gonna be good and just pass on for now, I, I think. But man, the, the selection here, again, it's it's pretty awesome. I haven't seen Gallows, any, any good? Warner Brothers. I, you see, I, I don't know. Again, so many things I, I could be picking up but I'm not trying to go too crazy spending money. Although with that being said, Gallows is only $3. So I guess I really wouldn't be breaking the bank. Look at that. There's Superman 3. That is cool to see. Again, I don't know. Trying to trying to be somewhat good here. There's, again, Mar, Mar Superman. Okay, they have absolutely gotten stuff they did not have last time. I did not see Superman's here last time I was in the store. So I, I'm going to have to go through every single... Every single one of these now. I, I gotta see if they, they have stuff I I need. There's Top Gear season 16. All right, yeah, I'm going I'm going through all these. They've got things like Seasons of Succession, which I've also never seen an HBO series. I've, I've never checked out, so again, comments down below. Seasons of Vikings. I think I actually have the complete series of this that that is in my to watch pile. I've heard it's pretty good. I've just, I've never seen the show. And they also have The Men Who Built America. That is really cool also. I, I already have that though. I don't need that. There's a hand, Handmaid's Tale down there. Benji collection. Okay, again, I'm, I'm seeing cool things. Gone with the Wind. I gotta just keep telling myself I, I gotta be good. I can't go too crazy. I am though. I am the really tempted by by Gallows. I mean, from the produ well, from the producers of Paranormal Activity, I never understood that. Like, okay, I, I guess they're saying, well, this person enjoyed this script enough to put money into it. So if, if they, I, you know, from the director, from the writer of, I get, from the producer of, I don't know, I, I, I never really got that. I might pick that up though. So last time I was in the store, I believe I saw this and um, the Carol Burnett show, I think it was called, um, like the, the lost episodes, I, I don't know, Christmas or something. This is the Carol Burnett show, Christmas with Carol. It's a, it's a different release. And I looked at the back of them and they actually had, I think different episodes or something on them. So um, I, don't, I don't have this one. I, I double checked my collection and I, it turns out that I do have the other one, but I don't have this one. I'm only asking $2.47 for this, it's on sale. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up. Again, it has some random episodes that were not on the other. Carol Burnett show Christmas special DVD that I, I have. So, all right, for, for $2.50, that I am gonna pick up. Okay, so I did end up finding the uh, the other Carol Burnett show, Carol's Lost Christmas, the Lost Episodes. This is the one I do already have in my collection. And according to what I see on the the back, it's it's different. It's not the it's not the same thing. It's different episodes or or something. There is a there is a difference between these two releases. So again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, well, no, I know, I know I already have this one, so I don't, I don't need that, but I am pretty sure it is, it, this is different than that one. So just I'm trying to just talk myself into spending money today. I'm buying the Carol Burnett. I have really got to get around to watching my, um, 
Doctor Who's. I, I do have a ton of Doctor Who DVDs and Blu-rays in my collection. I have most of, I, I have no idea what, I have no idea what seasons I have. I have seasons like one through, well, of the newer like series. I have seasons one through like whatever. And then I do have a bunch of the, the older episodes as well. I, I've got a ton of Doctor Who. The problem is I've just never actually watched any of it. I, I bought it because I kept finding it for cheap and everybody rants and raves about how great this show is, but I've just, I get, I just never watched it. I, I gotta get around to doing that because I'm, I'm tempted when I see things like this. Dreamland, I guess an animated episode or animated movie or, or whatever this is of, of Doctor Who, that's cool. I would totally pick that up, but like, do I really need it? I don't know. I don't know if I, if I even enjoy Doctor Who. I might, or I might not. I really, I really don't know. I don't know if it's my thing or not. I'm kind of picky when it comes to my BBC series. Some I love, some not so much. That, that, that could be a not so much one, or it could be one I really enjoy, but uh, for now I'm going to pass. However, I think I'm not going to pass on this. The Marx Brothers TV collection. I, I don't have this. I do love me some Marx Brothers. I have a bunch of their movies. I have like a, like a movie collection. This here apparently is a bunch of um, TV appearances, 50 TV appearances by the, uh, the Marx Brothers. That's pretty cool. That I am going to pick up. Why? What? Jeez, why, why not grab? Why not grab that? Anyway, I'm buying that. I know I keep telling myself the last thing I need are more, um, are more documentaries, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to be picking up this here. BBC video, BBC Atlas of the Natural World, Africa and Europe. Look at that. This is a, I have no idea, six disc set with a whole bunch of different BBC documentaries. I do tend to really enjoy BBC documentaries. So for only $4, I'm going to be picking this up. That is, that is actually pretty awesome. Again, I, I don't need, I don't need more documentaries. I have too many that I have to watch as it is, but I mean, when it, when it comes to things, I, I just can't stop buying and that I just, I need to get around to watching. It's, it's documentaries and anime. I'm really bad when it comes to both of those. I, I have to buy anything anime. I have to buy not everything documentary, but anything, you know, BBC, Nat Geo, History, Discovery, um, who else? Uh, Nova, you know, any of those like major companies, anything that they've put out when it comes to documentaries, I pretty much have to buy it. So if, if it's a good price and um, I'm thinking $4 for, for what, six, uh, six documentaries by the BBC, I'm buying this too. All right, so... I think I'm done. What have I decided to actually pick up? I'm gonna grab this pile right here. So I am grabbing the Fort Yuma Gold and Damned Hot Day of Fire. I'm, I'm, I'm buying that. I mean, it's against two Westerns for six bucks on Blu-ray. That's pretty awesome. I am also grabbing the My Little Pony because, because I'm buying My Little Pony. I don't, I don't care. I like, the, I like this show. I'm buying that. I'm also grabbing the, uh, the Carol Burnett Christmas with Carol because that's awesome. Anything Carol Burnett that I don't have, I will probably buy and it's on, again, it's on sale for, for $2.50. And I am picking up the, uh, the BBC Atlas of the Natural World. That is too awesome for $4. And this, I actually don't know how much this is. I'll have to ask them. I'm hoping not much, but the Marx Brothers TV collection, I am also grabbing that. I did decide to pass on the gallows. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is any good. It's only $3. I feel like I should be buying this, but I think I'm just gonna pass on that for now. I know there was another horror title that they had here that I was looking at. I think it was horror anyway, that I was looking at um, last time I was in the store. And a lot of you guys told me I should have picked it up and I didn't. I don't see it here. So somebody else has come out here and they've they've bought that title. I can't remember what it was. I'm about to go back and, um, and watch that previous video or read the comments to that video so I know what title that is. And I will, I will try to find a copy of that. I think it was on DVD anyway. And I know there's a Blu-ray release of it. I can't remember remember what the title was, but whatever it was, I know I think it was DVD they had here, but there is a legit Blu-ray release of it out there. So I'll, I'll probably try to find it on on Blu-ray. So, all right, I'm grabbing, a, I'm grabbing a few things. It's pretty awesome they actually had new stuff here. I, I honestly thought I was going to come in here and see the same stuff they had, like what, two or, or so weeks ago when I was last inside the store. But the fact that they actually got a new stuff over those last two weeks, that is awesome. If, you, if you've got a big lots nearby, check them out. You might find some good movies. All right, so that was pretty awesome. For you know, for a long time, Big Lots was not really a store I frequented that much because they just did not really get stuff in. At least my my local Big Lots, it just seemed like it was the same 
titles over and over and over again. Just, I was gonna say month after month, but honestly, like year after year, they never really seemed to get anything new in. And for a while, not only were they not really getting new stuff in, but the stores seemed to be getting nothing in. The, the stock was like just diminishing. It was getting smaller and smaller every time I went into these stores. But now I'm finding stuff again. I, there was a time when Big Lots was like the, one of the greatest stores to, to thrift at, to shop at, to find movies at. I would find all kinds of amazing stuff. But then again, for years, it just wasn't the case. I'm going back into Big Lots like all the time now. When, I, when I'm driving down the street and I see a Big Lots, I'm gonna start jumping into them because um, they've been proving to be pretty, pretty awesome as of recently. Again, if you've got a Big Lots nearby, you should probably stop in and check them out. I realize not every Big Lots is the same. Your Big Lots might not have any movies at all, but um, your Big, Lot, Big Lots might also have gotten in a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So check them out. All right, so that's gonna do it for Big Lots. I'm happy. I, I feel like today was a success whether or not I find anything in our next location or even have an unboxing to unbox, but we are gonna go to our next location, which is going to be Goodwill, because even though I was only there a couple of days ago, it's right down the street and we're driving right past it, so we're going to Goodwill. All right, we've made it to our... All right, we've made it to our next store. Why is the um, emergency thing going? going off over there that that was that was interesting this this it's going off again this giant put up this like security camera there which is weird because again we don't really live in this isn't like a, a not nice area it's not like we're in the the middle of like you know center city philadelphia or something like that it just it seems weird that giant i mean i guess they were having issues with people stealing stuff here i i don't know this is not exactly a an area that's known for its high crime rate i guess i guess somebody's stealing something Weird. Anyway, so, all right, we, we made the, the very long drive of all of two minutes down to the, the Goodwill here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. We're going to see what they have. I was just in here like three days ago or something like that. Maybe, yeah, three days ago, I think it was. I, I found some stuff then, but we'll see how much restocking they have done. What even warrants that going off? Like, I... I, 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 wonder, I, I wonder, I thought it was just used for security to just, just to watch people. Like, does it know somebody stole something? Weird. Okay, so of course the main reason why I'm in here today is to look through all the, the movies, which again, I, I did just look through only a couple of days ago, but it looks like maybe they've restocked a little bit. I don't remember seeing things like season four of, of The Simpsons or all these Blu-rays here, including Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one. That is pretty awesome M maybe that is really cool it does look like they've been maybe picked through a little bit but yeah there's there's definitely some new things here stuff i did not see a couple of days ago so all right keeping that power of of positivity alive i might be buying some things that's what i thought so just the other day i did come across agents of shield season one on dvd at the uh the library that I was at with my son. And I did mention, I actually already have it on Blu-ray, but I have a UK release, which is okay. It's region free, so it's not region locked, but this here's the um, the US release and it's still brand new factory sealed with, with slip cover and everything. I'm thinking I should buy this, right? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with the, the UK release, but I don't think the UK release even has a slip cover, so. I'm, I'm thinking for $5, $4.99. Again, brand new factory sealed with slip. I'm buying this. I'm also definitely picking up this Children of the Corn series. Why do they call it that? Anyway, it comes with Children of the Corn 3, 4, th 3, 4, 6, and 5. Somebody at, at Echo Bridge does not know how to count. Anyway, I already have all four of these movies, but I only have them on on DVD, so that is actually really cool. And I believe three of the movies, I already have in a, a like a triple feature set by by Echo Bridge, so that is really, really cool. For, for $5, I'm gonna upgrade four movies to Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking that up, so all, all right. I'm finding good stuff. Again, I was just here three days ago, but this is why you always stop in, because you never know when they've restocked and, and what they've gotten in. They, they got in some good stuff. Should I be taking this as a sign? They also have Fortitude, the complete second season here as well for $4.99. Again, I've never seen this show. 
I know nothing about it. J just saw this at Big Lots, but I don't have season one. Like I said, I, I it would just go into a pile of things I need to watch. I have no idea. Again, if you guys have seen this show, leave your comments down below. Let me know if this is any good. I'm still just gonna end up passing on it. It's probably a mistake. I, I probably should be taking that as a sign that it's, it's really good. That second time in the last like 10 minutes seeing that, but I'm gonna... Even God herself wants me to, to pick up Fortitude. I'm, I'm defying all logic and I'm passing on that. I just checked my collection and apparently I don't own It Man, The Final Fight. Why I don't own this, I have no idea. I own all the other movies, but I don't have this one yet. But do I really wanna pay $5 for it? I, I feel like this is one of those movies that Pamela probably has in at the Video Game Movie Dome or I'll come across for like a dollar or two at a flea market or a yard sale or something. I really don't know if I wanna be paying $5 for this. With that being said though, it, it does bug me that I don't have this movie yet in my collection and I don't know why. I never bought this movie, so I'm gonna put it in my pile and uh, maybe. All right, so I'm thinking that might just about do it for the movies. Again, I'm, I'm trying to be good at the moment. I don't wanna add too many more movies to my to watch pile because I, I just packed up my to watch pile the other day and let's just let's just say it was um eye-opening it it was disturbing to see how many movies i have in my to watch pile i i've even gone through that pile and, and dwindled it down and i still have so many movies just bins and bins and bins full of tv shows and and movies i i want to watch before i decide as to whether or not i'm going to add them to my collection or not add them to my collection so i don't want to buy too many more movies to to add to that ever-growing pile but I am seeing things like this, diamonds. I've, I've never seen this, but I, I'm enjoying the cast. I have no idea if that's any good. I I probably should have picked that up. I should, I should probably just pass on it. It might be great, but I, I have so much more to watch. So, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna grab the, uh, the three here. I, I am gonna grab It Man. I know, probably a mistake. The, the Children of the Corn, that is awesome. Definitely grabbing that. And then, yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So basically, I'm grabbing things I don't really need. I already have this on Blu-ray, but I have the UK release, but whatever. Brand new factory sealed, US release, that's awesome. I already have all four of these movies, but I have them on DVD, so I'm just upgrading. And, okay, this I do need, but I'm sure $5 is probably too expensive for a movie. I'll be able to get at Pamela's for free with store credit or fine for a dollar at, at the flea market over the, um, over the summer. Whatever, I'm buying all three of these. Okay, so I did end up looking around the rest of the store and did not see anything else I wanted to pick up. No toys, no no Phillies, jerseys this time around, nothing like that, just just the movies. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with my with my finds here. Again, I may, I may have overpaid for Ip Man, but whatever, I, I bought it anyway. And the, uh, the Children of the Corn set, I mean, that's four, four movies I'm upgrading to Blu-ray. Four horror movies I'm upgrading to Blu-ray for like five bucks, awesome deal on the the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Again, I don't really need it necessarily, but I think this is a, this is a much better release than the one I, I currently have. So I'm pretty happy. Again, brand new factory seal for five bucks. That is an awesome, awesome find. So happy I ran in there, found some cool stuff. So, so far today, again, I'm not trying to jinx myself, but so far today, it's been a pretty good day. Awesome stuff from Big Lots, awesome stuff from, from Goodwill. Let's go to the post office and hope there's some awesome stuff waiting for me to uh, to unbox. Okay, last stop of the the day. We have made it to the the post office. Again, I've got packages that I need to to drop off, things I need to to send out to people who have ordered stuff. And I think, possibly, maybe, hopefully, I have a package waiting for me here. It was supposed to have arrived yesterday, supposedly, but uh, I don't actually have a tracking number to check it, so I'm not entirely sure, but it was supposed to have arrived yesterday. So I'm hoping it's here today. We will we will see if the uh, the package is here. I assure you, it's going to be quite the unboxing. I'm pretty excited about what's uh, what's coming my way. But all right, again, I've got I've got packages to drop off, possibly a package to pick up. Let's go find out. Today just keeps on getting better and better. Not one package, three packages were were waiting for me. I think again, I think I know what one of them is. I think one of them is the package that I was actually wait. 
That's a really noisy van. Anyway, I think one of them is the actual package that I was I was waiting for. I don't I don't know. We're, we're gonna find out together. The other two, I have no idea. Or maybe I don't think all the stuff I was waiting for would be would have been put in two pop two boxes. I have no idea. This is a mystery. But I'm excited because I was expecting maybe one. I was expecting maybe one package, but instead I got three. Let's see what I got. All right, so yeah, let's uh, let's dive into these packages. Let's see what it is I have received in the mail from from you guys. Again, I'm not excited about this. So, all right, first package here. This comes from Brandon. I think maybe this is what I was waiting for. Again, we're gonna we're gonna find out. So let's see what Brandon has um has sent me. And we've got, no, this was not what I was waiting for. Okay, okay. all right. This is, this, this is something I did not know was coming. So let's see what all of, uh, what of this stuff is. There's, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff inside this one, this one bubble envelope here. And it's not the most difficult, or not the most easiest to, to get out. It's actually proving to be a little difficult. All right, there we go. I think that's, is that everything? Nope, there's that. I think that, I think that is everything. Let me check to see if there's a note. I don't see, I don't see a note anywhere. So, all right, just some randomness from, from Brandon. So Brandon sent window covers, some skeleton window covers. Those are awesome. Uh, we got a Pokemon, Pokemon pop quiz book. That is cool. That's neat. Uh, we've got Pokemon, our hero Meowth. That's awesome as well. Love me the Pokemon series. Um, some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers coloring and activity book. And also another coloring and activity book. So some vintage Power Rangers. Guessing maybe maybe unused. Looks to be look to be unused. So that's cool. Uh, we got Oliver. Nice. And a couple more books here. We got the Great, Great Mouse Detective. X-Men Knight of the Sentinels. I mean, classic there. X-Men to stop a juggernaut. I'm the juggernaut and um and dick tracy on the trail of the of the blank nice again i love i love dick tracy as well so awesome some pretty cool stuff here from brandon thank you so much for sending um sending all this my way i did not know this stuff was coming so awesome i uh, i appreciate that very very cool so again brandon thank you so much for for all of these goodies here okay now it's all coming back to me these two packages here are from Jason. I was kind of thrown off, did not think what he was sending me was gonna take up two packages, but I guess it did, so that is awesome. These are what I knew was um, was coming my way. So I'm I'm really excited to uh, to dive into these and to show you guys what is inside here. I I kind of have an idea of what's in here, but not really because he, he sent me a photo of everything he was sending, but I just, I mean, that was, that was what, like a week ago? I've already forgotten what, what exactly all was um, was in those photos? I remember a couple of the t a couple of the titles, but not not all of them. Re re in? There we go. Now we're now we're in. So, all right, let's let's see what we got going on here. Oh my gosh! You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, all right, open that one up. I'm just gonna open them both up because I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys this pile of epicness. All at all at one time. So let's open the. Uh, the second package here, this is so cool. I can't believe he was nice enough to to send this to me. I think he said he was like going through his collection and purging it, I think I think that's what he told me. He was getting rid of some stuff and uh, he saw these and he said, I don't want them anymore. And he knew exactly who would want them, me. And he was not wrong in uh, in thinking that. There we go, are we, are we in? There we go, okay, now we're in, okay, yeah, all right. This is awesome, so. Oh, did I just, did I just give it away a little bit? Okay, let me let me pile these all up. Make sure they're all facing the same way. There we go. Are you guys ready for this bit of epicness? I can't believe this. <laughs> this is a pile of Criterion Blu-rays. Look at that. What the heck? I could not believe it when he said he was sending these to me. When Jason said, "I, you know, I, yeah, I got all these. I'm sending them to you." Um, I was. I was just blown away. I like sometimes people's generosity just really, really just it just blows me away. It's it's awesome. So, wow, uh, we've got a brief history of time. I don't own that. Brazil, which I do already have a Criterion release up, but I have the DVD, so that's an upgrade there. Awesome. Uh, the Tree of Life, 
did not have that yet. Traffic, I also have the DVD release of this. I don't have the, the Blu-ray release, so that's an upgrade. Roma, don't have that yet in my collection. Uh, Thin Red Line, I think I have, again, the DVD release of this, not the Blu-ray. So a lot of this is upgrading to me, which is awesome. Uh, Dreams, never seen that, don't own that. Fantastic Planet, I've heard of this, I've never seen it, so that's cool. The Devil's Backbone, never seen that one, do not have it. Silence of the Lambs, this is really cool. So um, I do have this, uh, I have the, the Criterion DVD release, I did not have the Blu-ray release, so that is awesome, really excited about that. And this also kills two birds with one stone, or two um, two lambs with one with one stone. Because um, I do have the, again, the DVD Criterion release, but I also have the Blu-ray standard release because I want to have it in high definition. So now I can just get rid of the, the, the Criterion DVD and the standard Blu-ray and just keep this instead. So that is really cool. Uh, the Darjeeling Limited. I don't think I have the Criterion release of that movie. Boyhood. Again, I've, I've heard of this movie. I'm aware of this movie's existence. I've never actually seen this movie, though. Here it's pretty good, though. Um, okay, I'm gonna say that to last. Uh, the New World. Again, I don't have that either. So, so many cool criterions here. Most of this is stuff I either don't have or the few things I do have, it's, it's upgrades. This is really cool. This I'm super excited about because I've been looking for a Blu-ray copy of this for a long, long time. Again, I have the DVD release of it and I also have the HD DVD release of it because I want to have, um, you know, a high definition uh, copy. But since HD DVD isn't like a prominent format, it's more of an obscure format. I also have it on DVD, so I can have it also on a prominent format. This replaces both of them, and it replaces them with a criterion. Being John Malkovich. Great, great movie. I love this film, and uh, happy to now finally have it on Blu-ray. Been wanting to have this movie on Blu-ray for a long time. Tons of special features. That is awesome. So again, Jason, I, I don't even know what to say. Your generosity just it leaves me it leaves me speechless when you when you sent that photo on on uh, facebook and said hey i'm getting rid of these do you want them i i couldn't believe what you were showing me so thank you so much you've just beefed up the heck out of my my criterion collection collection i again i am going i am going for a complete criterion collection collection but not actively and what i mean by that is I'm not going out to Barnes and Noble and just spending like $50 on a Criterion. I'm not going out and buying the new, the brand new, you know, I'm not ordering the brand new Criterion that just came out off of Amazon or something like that and spending $50 on it. I'm not doing that, but I am picking these up when I can find them for a good price. If I find them for like, so, I mean, $20, if it's a movie, I really, really, really want to have a Criterion release of, um, sure. But usually I mean, if around like 10 bucks or something like that, I, I will pick them up. And I do have a pretty decent Criterion collection at this point, and I've been spending very little on them. I've been trying to pick them up for, for 10 bucks or less uh, than occasionally spending $20 on a, on a Criterion. So I'm going for a complete collection, but it's going to be a very slow process as I'm, as I'm just trying to find most of them as much as I can out in the wild. But Jason here has just beefed up that collection. So thank you so much. Blow it away. Wow. All right, guys. So um, yeah, again, that's, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for today. And yes, once again, because I'm driving past it, <laughs> I'm getting myself some, some BK. I just can't pass on the flame broil deliciousness. That is a BK hamburger. And I, I know I should have got a bottle of water. Anyway, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. A fantastic day. Awesome pickups from, from Big Lots, amazing pickups from, from Goodwill, and just mind-blowing things from, from viewers. Cannot believe what is in my car right now. So many cool pickups today. Lots of awesome stuff. Fantastic day. I'm just going to say I'm celebrating. That, that's why I got food that is going to lead to an early death. Anyway, guys, so with that, we are done. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. And they do keep the show going, so I really do appreciate the help. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, what should, today, what should today's hashtag be? Hashtag... I don't, I don't even know. Ha hashtag... Um, I don't know, just hashtag amazing, 
amazing pickups. Let's just, let's just do that. That's what I got today. Amazing pickups. Hashtag amazing pickups. If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, I can't even think. I just want food so badly right now. Like the smell of fries and, and, and burgers, it's just, it's getting to me. So again, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye. No easy truck. Bye. All right, so I'm back home now. Finally decided to fix the ballast in the fluorescent lighting. Had to replace the, the black box. That is the, that is the ballast. This is the, this is the old ballast. That's the, that's the new ballast. I have stripped the wires. I've, I've replaced it. I put the new one in, but before I put the, the panel and close this all back up to, to hide the wires, I went to flip the switch first because if it doesn't work, I've got to fix something and I don't want to have to take everything apart again. So, all right, moment of truth. And I think, we have success. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Honestly, that took all of like five minutes to, to fix. So, okay, that's done. Ballast has been, has been fixed. These things only last about 10 or so years and then they, they do end up crapping out on you. But at least they can be replaced. They can be fixed. It's like a $30 fix. Not that big of a deal. A lot cheaper than buying a whole new a whole new light fixture. So, all right, that is done. One more thing, checked off the list of things that have to get done in order to sell this house. There's still about 475 other things, but that's one. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Oh, this light's so bright. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. All right, bye.